Hey guys, today I want to show you how to insert and remove a sound post using just these two tools right here. This is a sound post insert or remover tool and this is the sound post adjuster tool. Now the first thing I want you to do is loosen the E and the A string a quarter turn at least. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to go inside the violin through the F hole and you're going to put the tool on top of the sound post just like that. If you notice the flap sticks out, so if you get that flap on one side of the sound post, you'll be able to get the tool on there like that. So I'm going to do that first, before I do anything else. Alright, when the tool's on there, you know, you can pull it up and down and make sure it really is on there, and just leave it there. Now I'm going to reach in, and on the very bottom of the sound post, I'm going to pull it so that the sound post is loose. Now the sound post is loose. Now just grab the end of the sound post and pull it out and then you can take your tool out. Now when you're going to put the sound post back in, there are a couple things to think about. You want to put the mark that's on your sound post, usually it's about a third down the sound post, you want to put that on the inside of the tool, facing that way. You want to make sure your grains are running perfectly like this and you want to make sure that the small side of the post, because it's got a little angle, is going to be towards what you're holding. Small side on this side, the larger, wider side on the outside. Because when it's in there like this, your violin is shaped smaller towards the outside, thicker towards the inside. Then you're going to try to get the whole thing in there without scratching the apple. In this case, the apple is too small or the sound post is too thick. So the best way to do this is to put the tool in first and then you have it on there and then adjust it, make sure the grains are perfect and that the sound post is towards the tip, the top of the tool. Then you're going to stick the, the tool in so that the sound post is facing the center bottom of the instrument and hold it so it's straight in this direction. And then you're going to push the bottom of the sound post so the tool straightens out like that. And then you're going to pull off the sound post tool and you're all set. From this point, you can look inside and make sure the sound post is straight, and if it's not straight, you can put the adjuster in there and you can tap it a little bit and get it straight. And you can also push either on the bottom or on the top to get it perfect. Or you can, I like to pull on the top, like this. And then you check it from every single angle as possible. You have these reference lines to make sure it's straight. You look in here, you have this as a reference line the top, make sure it's perfectly straight. If you set your bridge to be straight, you can compare it to the bridge. And then you can tune it. And you're all set. Thanks for watching.